Hello guys, we are on 1.1. 1.1 says factorize the following expressions fully. Okay, we are having 1.1.1 there. Okay, let's start with it. We are having 1.1.1 as f to the x point 4 subtracting the 81 there. Okay, then we have to factorize it there. Okay, when we check the nature of our expression there, okay, here we are having a 81. Okay, and 81 is a is a perfect square okay in simple terms a perfect square is a number that you can put under under square root and it gives you a a natural number okay when you put 81 under the square root it's going to give you 9 okay even our x to the exponent 4 uh, is a perfect is a perfect uh, number variable okay when you put x to the exponent 4 under the square root you're going to get x to the exponent 2 okay and the 2 is a is a natural number a whole number there okay then here the means we must have a two uh two two binomials they multiplying each other okay what they was going to sit here and then they must give us what x uh, x to the exponent 4 there okay and whatever sits here and then they should be the same okay then in this case we're going to have x to the exponent 2 x to the exponent 2 okay because the, uh, the problem that we are having is a difference of two squares difference is talking about the negative it means you must have a perfect square and a perfect square there and they should subtract there okay then here you must have 9 and 9 okay whatever sits here and there they should be the same and when you multiply them they should give you uh, 81 a day okay and the, the, the signs there they should be different okay if you here you are having negative, here you should have positive. If you are having positive, then you should have negative. Okay. Yeah. X x to the exponent 2 multiplying uh, x to the exponent 2, it gives us x to the exponent 4. Okay. Negative 9 multiplying 9 gives us negative 8. Uh, 81 a day okay then it means in the middle terms they are going to they are going to cancel out they're going to give us zero okay that's why we are seeing difference of two squares there if you expand this the middle terms that they are going to uh, give us a zero there okay but they said we must uh, we must factorize full okay even here we are still having a difference of two squares because we are having the difference there okay and the nine is a perfect square when you put it under the square root you, you are going to get a uh, three okay you are going to get three then it means we, we can uh, further uh, factorize this okay then we must have two binomials here for this and this one is this one you cannot factorize it okay then we leave it a uh, as it is okay then here whatever sits here and there they should be the same okay then here we're going to have x and x x multiplied by x going to give us x squared okay then whatever sits here and there they should also be the same then you're going to have three and three okay and uh, then the signs that should differ then here you can have positive then you can have negative then you are having something of this magnitude okay x multiplied by x gives us x squared okay uh, 3 multiplied by negative 3 gives us negative 9 then we are good to go okay then we have factorized fully there okay then let's go to 1.1.2 there okay on 1.1.2 we are having 6x x squared y there subtracting 10 x y plus 15 x subtracting 25 okay when we get we got something of this magnitude okay expression of this nature we uh, we factorize it by grouping okay then in our case we are going to group this one this one with this one and this one with that one okay it is not always the case whereby you must group them like this okay it might be necessary for you to group this one with that one or this one with this one or that one with that one okay but in our case we just try our life in grouping the uh, the first ones together and the last ones together okay then uh, we see what we get okay when we group them we take uh, the ones that we are grouping into a, into a, to a bracket here we take the first ones into a bracket like this okay to show that we are grouping them okay we are having the squared here okay to show that we are we are grouping them there okay then here you take everything with the assigns okay then you separate the two brackets with addition there okay here we are having positive 
15 then we write it as positive 15 you are having negative 25 like that okay you separate the two brackets with addition then you take everything with the assigns there okay then and now we continue when you check here you are having 6 and 10 okay then uh, 6 and 10 they are all divisible by 2 okay uh, then it means 2 does go here and it also does go there okay and it means we take to the as a common factor okay but again you are still having x here and x there okay then you it means we take x as a common factor it is here and there is a common factor you are having y here and there it means y is also a, a common factor okay then you are saying 6 divided by 2 gives us 3 okay 2 multiplied by 3 gives us 6 okay here we are having 2x here okay 2x multiplying each other then we took one x out then we remain with another x okay x multiplied by x it gives us x squared here we took y out here okay then y is no longer there okay then here we are going to have uh, the negative here we're going to say uh, 10 divided by 2 it gives us 5 okay then we took x out and we took y out and then it means we remain with 5 here 2xy multiplied by negative 5 it gives us negative 10 x y there okay then here here we are having 15 and 25 okay 15 and 25 they are divisible by 5 5 okay and here you are having x then there is no x then it means x is not the common factor we can't take it out okay then it means uh, we must have to move this side okay then uh, we are going to say 15 divided by 5 we are going to have 3 then the x is still there okay then we are still having the subtraction then we are going to say 25 divided by 5 it gives us 5 then we close bracket like that okay then we, now we are here we are having something of this magnitude okay then when you check here you are having this bracket and this bracket and they are they are the same okay then we can take this bracket as a common factor because it appears here and it appears there okay then we take the whole bracket they say is a common factor there okay then when you take out the uh, this bracket here you remain with this okay then you're going to have 2x4 okay this bracket multiplying 2xy is going to give us 2xy this bracket okay then here we took this bracket out then we must remain with what plus 5 there and this bracket multiplying 5 we're going to have 5 that bracket okay then now we have simplified it okay here there is no common factor even there then it means we have a uh, factorize that uh, fully to the fullest Okay, then we are done with 1.1. Bye.